And my friend's gift, trying to make me bougie, you know, trying to kick AliExpress out of me. Like, it's impossible, but they're trying. Hi guys, welcome! And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, привет! I'm Elena. I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually review and do tutorials of affordable, inexpensive makeup from Walmart, AliExpress, drugstore, you name it. I'll test it on my face, I'll pass the savings to you guys. So this is one of the budget videos, uh, my favorite. I'm doing a review of a dupe palette of, an expensive palette of Natasha Denona, Metropolis. And this is Alter Ego Artemis palette. It looks uh, almost the same, this. So we're gonna be doing this look and swatches, the whole bit, a little bit of a tutorial. And we're going to see how this performs and what I think about this. So guys, guys are interested and curious, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and bring the notification bell below so YouTube notifies you every time I upload. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time and also go live every Sunday at noon Pacific time and 8 p.m. in UK. Please check out my social media, Instagram, to hit it down in the description box. Like this video, comment, and let's get right into this. So Alter Ego is a small brand. They have a lot of dupes. Mostly what they do is dupes of mostly Natasha Denona. I think they have like a Anastasia Beverly Hills dupe as well, but mostly like Natasha Denona palettes. And I got one video on my channel, as I said at the end of this video. <laughs> I'm going to link that video above here, and that's the Goddess palette. This one, the one I already reviewed, and this is Natasha Denona Gold dupe, which I love. This one is amazing, great, great quality and performance. And today I'm going to be reviewing this one. Here's the thing, I did not plan to buy it. When I looked at the color scheme, this color story did nothing to me. <laughs> Honestly, I, I mean, I'm a parakeet. If you ever watch my videos, I like colorful looks. I still managed to do a colorful look with it. I mean, I was going to do neutral look <laughs> just once for a change. <laughs> and I just couldn't help it. I had to go dig into the deeper stone, but Oh well, that's what we ended up with. So yeah, that wasn't me, like I wasn't interested in this. But my wonderful, beautiful Irish princess friend, Teresa Mulhorn, and if you don't know her, then you should. Uh, her channel is going to be description box as usual. She needs to get monetized, she needs to get just a few more subscribers, and she's going to be right up here with the monetized YouTubers. <laughs> I'm working on it now too. Anyway, please give her a subscribe. Uh, so yeah, she was into this and she's like, Elena, I cannot order this from Ireland. You should be ordering it because you and you have some like, okay, I'll order it. <laughs> so of course I went there, I ordered this and to get free shipping, I had to order someone else. So this palette is $22. Natasha Denon is $129. Ah, it just makes me sick, clearly. So I ordered lipstick with it. And I'm not wearing it because it kind of doesn't go with the look, but I'm going to be testing this. It's a color Vanity. It's a matte liquid lipstick. The package is beautiful. And like all the boxes, like the, it always like Alter Ego comes in these velvety boxes. They're so pretty. It makes me want to touch it and pet it. This is so creepy, right? But I like it. <laughs> anyway, and so the lipstick is six bucks. And the eyelashes that I picked they're very very fluffy and this is the best purchase of the whole purchase these are amazing these are probably the best lashes i own which doesn't say much about me uh, if you guys wear bougie expensive eyelashes you're probably going to be like we have better ones but since i always buy something walmart these are great this is so 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 good i'm wearing uh the fluffiest style and this is like a little I think this is a little skinnier than the one I'm wearing. But anyway, these are five bucks each. So I'm going to be li linking all the uh, items down in the description box. Or I'll just leave all the go a website down so you can look. So I got all these items in one go. So before I start with the swatches, let me give you the Russian word of the day. 
This is kind of a very sultry, smoky look, which I love. This is like classic Elena, I would say. And I'm going to give you the smoky eye in Russian. I mean, are you ready for this? Because it's a lot. <laughs> Dimchite glass. Dimchite is smoky. Glass is eye. So, dimchate. I'm going to put Russian uh, serial spelling up here. And the pronunciation phonetic if i can and like spell it correctly i'll try in english alphabet below so you can actually pronounce it if you're even interested <laughs> and try to use it in the sentence down below i mean like nikki tutorials rip off <laughs> so smoky eye dimchate glass dimchate glass there you have it so now we can get to swatches so what i'm gonna do is watch a few shades on camera and then do the rest of them off because it just takes forever. I'm just gonna show you, start on camera so you can see actually in real life how this work. So let me start with the bottom because these are the problematic ones that I didn't like. So this is a map, right? So watch, do you see that? It's kind of a little shiny and leaves imprint and look how much pigment in my finger. <sighs> nothing well i have it in my eyeballs so i scraped it and i scratched it so let me put my finger in it like mm, a portion a portion now we built it right so well now we got a swatch so let me use goddess palette and just for the comparison's sake i'll go to the darker swatch right away no problems just one, one go, that's it. You see, it's a little deeper and it's powder. I mean, that's a real eyeshadow, matte eyeshadow. There is no putty like texture in this one. So that's what I don't like about the new palette. But actually you can build it up, but it, it's hard to get. Like it's hard to get it out of the palette with a brush. So that's the only problem. So I'm not a big fan of this. So the second shade is the same. So I'm going to go into this one. I'm just going to do a couple of them on camera so you can see the receipts and the little tweets. Oh my God, look. Alright. So, I mean, it's not a bad swatch, but if you go with a brush, it just doesn't really do anything. So next one is Jace. The third one. And I have to really dig into this. So now I've got it. So it's kind of almost easier with the finger. It's like they act like a potty jelly kind of uh, shimmers from Makeup Revolution. So you see, it's like it swatches, but in a brush, it's so difficult, so difficult. So let me finish off camera and I'll show you the swatches. Okay, I managed to do the swatches. Surprisingly, actual swatches better than it works on the eyes. Usually some powder eyeshadows, like some of the mattes, some brands don't swatch well because the powdery they only stick to the hand or the arm but when they, on the eyelids on the prime eyelids they go on very nicely so this is kind of the opposite they're so creamy they're like uh, they're like cream literally and it's hard to m move them on the brush but when you put them on the finger ha huh, magic look so that's the first one i went from the bottom to the top so pretty much went this way so the bottom two rows on this arm, so here they are. I mean, it's all supposed to be a mix of shimmers and mattes, but they all literally act like shimmers. They act like Makeup Revolution body like shimmers, which I don't mind for the shimmers, but not for the mattes. I hate padding mattes, mattes. I didn't really like this. So that's the yeah, other two rows. This one, a really beautiful swatch. And some of them swatch nicely. There's only three, like two mats, the one that's like powder mats. It's this one, I think. Yeah, it's this one. The orange one is a matte. And the one below it, this two are mats. And there's one more somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere here. This one is matte. But I mean, they're very similar. I mean, I'm not really impressed, to be honest, here. So here are all the swatches. Yeah, 
Well, you'll see me apply. I mean, obviously it worked, but it's work. It's like work to make it work. I mean, pun intended. So let's get into the tutorial now. As usual, I prime with Pili's base, and this is Roma 0.5, real light shade. Still my favorite primer. I'm going into my favorite brush. <laughs> I can't get over this brush. Just up three, uh, two, three, one, Lux Petite brush, and I'm going into what seemed like the deepest shade. It's Gold Bow, and then I'm gonna mix it with Ambush a little bit. They're almost the same bow. An ambush. So I'm gonna go into bow first. So see, what do we see? Uh, very little pigmentation and patchiness. I'm just saying it as is. So now we're gonna have to build it up. So now I'm gonna mix it with ambush. They're really similar, actually. So I see now again pigmentation. It kind of has to pass like two, three times to get pigmentation out of it. And go into the low lash line immediately a little bit. You know, the only good thing about this kind of thing, the texture, I feel like if I had my base first, it still would be okay because there's literally no fallout because it's like putty texture, which is kind of very weird. This is supposed to be matte and it's like very putty like I'm not sure if I'm into it, but you see it builds up, but you have to kind of like build and build and build. So there is no light shade to build this into. So I'm just gonna go with, I'm going to cheat and take ABH white. I mean any white or light flesh tone eyeshadow will do, but I like white because it doesn't really, you know, uh, interfere with the color I'm working with. So I'm going to take the just a brush 8228, the fluffy bigger brush for blending. I'm going to go right into the Anastasia, uh, Alyssa Edwards, the white. I just like white because it's more pure. It does not interfere with anything. The circle of motions. I just got to drag the blue, mix it with white. Now I'm going to tap into blue. One of them, doesn't matter, they're very similar. Bow. And I'm going to tap into the white again. And I kind of mix them together. Okay, so I did a little more blending. Uh, now I'm going with Morphe. A name brush, it's kind of a pencil brush, a little smaller. Because I'm going to go into the inner corner, so I like to go smaller. And we're going to the green. And mind you, when I started using this palette, I was thinking, just for a change, just once, I'm going to do something natural, something neutral, like in browns and golds, like this family over here. And then when I saw blue, someone was going to wear, ah. <laughs> right for the blue. I mean, I can't. I just can't. Jewel tones was my thing. So I'm going to the green. And check that out. Ooh, it's out of focus. See that? Does it look funny? And uh, ignore my nails. I took my acrylic, uh, I mean, press on nails off. So I need like a little break for them. So see that? Look. Have you ever seen something like that? It literally looks like, um, you know what it looks like? It's like Makeup Revolution uh, shimmers, where they have that patty texture. And it's literally like the pigmentation doesn't come off of it. That's why we're having difficulties because this is supposed to be matte, I think. And they're kind of weird. Um, I don't know. So this is called Stealth. The one, the one I've been fingering. <laughs> so I'm going to take this. I'm going to really push the brush into it because it's like, it's hard to get into this. So now I'm going into the... Oh, I'm crazy. Going into the inner corner and second half, like a green, blue into green. So it's like a kind of like it's pigmented, but it's not like bam. All right, so I'm taking the same big brush, going through color switch. I'm gonna tap into that green shade again, and I'm tapping to the white, to the ABH white, just to like feather it out a little bit here. 
Okay, so actually I forgot to tell you, but I forgot what I did on this eye. As usual, there's a lighter green shade that's called Silent. I used this, a little bit of this to blend this out. And uh, let's do the, the push test. Can we appreciate this? Yep, same kind of patty. How much pigment is on my finger? Zero. Yeah, it's weird, man. Why did you do this? All right, so now I'm gonna stop. Uh, uh, I was gonna say the B word, itching and moaning. And I'm gonna do a little bit more. Not a cut crease, but just something. Like, it's more like a smoky, sexy look. There is nothing really here intricate. So I'm just gonna add a little more Pillow's base on the brush. Just to add a little tackiness to it. I'm not really cutting anything. Because we're going for this uh, blended and very smoky look. So it doesn't have to be precise. And the shimmer is actually very good. So I cannot complain about this at all. The mats are like poo poo, but the shimmers are great. You'll see. So you can put them on with your finger which you'll see in the swatches, it works. But I'm gonna go with a brush because it's just uh, a little more precise and uh, controlled. So I'm gonna go with a spear and pursuit. So this is spear and this is person. I think I was pointing to right things, right? Or maybe not. This one, <laughs> this one, and this one. All right. Like, the goals are kind of similar in the color scheme here. See? The shimmer is incredible. Very, very foiled, actually. Very foiled. And the outer corner, I'm going to go with the Pursuit. So Pursuit is dark and deep, so I'm going to blend this into the matte. And going back to the first color. The blues, I'm just put in a little more mats here. So now I'm gonna take the brush with the green in it and I'm gonna go back into the deeper green, the stealth, and kind of deepen up the grease here. Because we don't want this to be a, a precise cut grease. We just wanna kind of blend it softly into a gold. Okay, so I did a little more blending and now we're going to the brow bone, just a small uh, brush, like a tiny, tiny liner brush. I don't want them to overwhelm it and I'm gonna go too obscure. Oh uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, shimmers are very decent. This one is nice too. The gold I would say are the best in this palette. Now I'll blend it out with a bigger brush. Okay, for the low lash line, I have a little Pillow's base and a low lash line for the maximum uh, effect. So I'm gonna go into Pursuit and Victory. So this is the other blue-green shimmer. Since we're going to the blue-green theme, <laughs> it's so funny. That was my intention, to keep it neutral. I mean, I just can't help it. So here we got Perfusion Shader Brush. I like to use some like this for the low lash line because it's kind of flat but still a little like fluffy here at the end so going into the victory the blue one yeah this is pigmented and the same brush going immediately to a pursuit which is a green one and yeah, there is some fallout but it's not a lot so it's going to be all cleaned up so the waterline i'm going to do two pencils and please bear with me i'm not doing this two pencils because i'm lacking something you know what I'm talking about, girls. I just like to mix SHAT. Mixing is my thing. I think it even comes from the times I was doing hair. I like mixing color. Mixing different colors creates the desired result. So first I wanted to go with mermaid blue, LA colors. It's a really nice waterline pencil. And then I decided it was too blue and I wanted a little more green. So now I used Oh, the bougie, who would have believed that? Thank you. Thank you, Victoria, for your gift. This is Urban Decay, my friend's gift. Trying to make me bougie, you know, trying to kick AliExpress out of me. Like, it's impossible, but they're trying. So this is Freak, and it's a green one. 
So I'm gonna layer, layer one over the other. Well, just because, just because I layer. So I can have a little bit of cheap SHAT on my face. Look at that the LA Girl pencil though. It's freaking amazing. I know this is not Urban Decay, but it's still nice. So now I wanted to add a little bit of green into there. My contact just moved and it's so weird. When you put color on your waterline and you're wearing color contacts and they start moving, it's like the oddest sensation. So I finished my eye makeup, uh, I mean just the eyes for now. Uh, I'll do the face makeup and I'll be back. So I did the eyeliner, I did focal lower eyeliner, which is really inexpensive. I'm gonna show you one second. Here's just a simple felt tip eyeliner. And I used the inexpensive mascara, the Lash Princess. And the eyelashes are the ones I purchased with the palette. The eyelashes are the bomb. If you ever get your hands on alter ego eyelashes, wow, just wow. They're soft. And let me zoom in a little more. I don't know if you can see, they're like very, very fluffy. And they have like multiple layers. And they're very soft. I didn't even cut them. I mean, they're irritating my eyeballs, the house right now. But <laughs> they're so pretty. And the girls during my Sunday life, they told me not to cut them. So I listened and they didn't do it. So the lashes are a complete complete success so if you want good lashes and you're in the US and you can shop Alter Eco I mean I'm telling you the side lashes are the bomb probably the best pair I own right now so let me do my base and fix up my low lash line and I'll be back okay so both eyes are done and we got this kind of blue look blue green okay that's a full look right there I don't have lipstick on because we're gonna be testing Alter Ego lipsticks. So yeah, I'm really happy with the end result. I've been kind of uh, B E in, I C H in. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> and moaning all the time about uh, the texture and the consistency of the eyeshadow, but it actually builds nicely and you know, it worked. So I, I could actually try to work with neutrals here because I haven't tried those yet. So yeah, it came out actually pretty, but it requires work. So let's try the lipstick. So the lipstick that I got was $6 and it's matte liquid lipstick in a color vanity. And of course that's Teresa, my friend, influence because she got me onto red and I'm like red. So of course I had to order red. And red does not go with this look, so I need like a neutral. So I'm probably gonna test it with you, and then I'm gonna take it off, and for the final look, apply um, the neutral. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is pretty. First of all, the box, like all of the Alter Ego boxes, I like this velvety. It's so pretty, like to touch. It's very pleasant to touch, soft. And the package is nice too. It looks expensive, actually. So that's what it looks like. So that's what the color looks like. Let me, it's a regular doe food applicator. It looks very, very deep red. So we shall see. Okay, it took me like a few minutes and it's still not very even. Something about this, it was very pretty. Actually, it feels very good in lips, like very good. It's not textured, you know, like not sticky, not gooey. It's not too dry, but it kind of leaves a little like a blank spot and I have to keep building it and still not very even. So mm, I probably have to play with it some more, but it's a pretty color, really pretty deep red. It just doesn't go with this look, in my opinion. This smoky look needs something more neutral. So I think I'm just gonna put some neutral lipstick on. I might just mix, uh, this Barium inexpensive lipstick in the color Go To. What was it Go To, the name? 939. And I have some gloss. I feel like gloss. Oh, we'll see. Maybe I won't. So I think I'm going to change it up and I'll come back. So I did end up putting the neutral lipstick on. This is Barium, the one I showed you earlier. I felt like matte, so I ended up with this. 
and uh, I'm wearing uh, actual focal lure foundations if you're wondering uh, one is the matte the one I didn't like uh, it's kind of yellow it's very yellow and the one is dewy and then uh, I said my face was elf powder, the cheap one, which cost two dollars. The one it's uh, really smoothing, and then I have a bronzer and contour by Makeup Revolution. Uh, the new ones that I got from my latest video, my haul. I got also a Makeup Revolution highlighter, uh, I Heart Revolution, uh, one of the hard ones, and. The blush is from Makeup Revolution as well, XX Revolution. <laughs> Everything's a revolution. I mean, a lot. I just love that brand. The eyeliner is Focalure. I love AliExpress, right? Mm, I gotta have something from AliExpress. <laughs> Although that's not AliExpress, technically, that's just Focalure website. And what else did I not tell you about? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me zoom you out. So this is it, this is the final look. So overall, my impression of Alter Ego, that's my second purchase. So Alter Ego eyelashes was the best thing out of the whole purchase. I would repurchase this easily. Five dollars each, absolutely worth it. The style I'm wearing now, let me see the name. All right, I think these actually are more, and the one I'm wearing are Grace. I mean, these are more dramatic, so that's the ones I use. So this is a definitely a big yes. I'm not sure about the lipstick yet. I'm not sure how the lighter colors would perform. Because this one is kind of like, reminds me of Makeup Revolution liquid lipstick, which uh, I don't like. I had it before, and it was like skipping. I have to build it. And this one still didn't build up very um, evenly. Maybe I have to work through this again and try to build it up. The smell is okay, it kind of smells like paint, but I like smell of paint, I'm weird, I know. <laughs> so the palette itself, I mean, for me, it's a no-go, I don't like it, honestly. <laughs> no, I mean, not that you cannot create a nice look, but it's way too many neutrals for me. I only purchased it, of course, because of you, Teresa. You convinced me. <laughs> and because it's a Natasha Denona dupe. Um, the color scheme just doesn't do anything for me, honestly. If you guys like neutrals, you might like this. But keep in mind, these are party-like shadows. You, you push at them and the press, and literally, there's nothing. There's no big pigmentations. I don't know, they're trying to make it like Natasha Denona texture, like a smooth texture, right? That's supposed to be uh, the formula cream powder. But I think it's not a successful uh, dupe. Maybe Natasha Denona performs similar. I don't have it, but it just I'm not into that texture. For me, it's just like uh, like a makeup revolution shimmers. The ones that you like, patty like, you can shovel them out with like a, a like a firm brush and apply it to eyelids. But that's that's not a shimmer. It's a matte, and when it's a matte, it's hard to w work with it. I mean, see, it builds, but mm, I would pass. I mean, unless you like this kind of thing, then, I mean, it's really looking, like everything about it is beautiful, except for like the shadows. If you want something similar, I would get this one. They still have it. Uh, this one is $22. I believe this one is 18. I'm gonna put up the price here if I look up if I'm wrong. This is the gold palette tube. I have a video on my channel. Again, the link is gonna be up here. Uh, my gold review is one of my first videos. I'm probably going to be embarrassed to look at myself. <laughs> but yeah, this one is much better. To me, I just like the texture. I like the pigmentation on this one better. Everything about this palette is way, way, way better. I mean, in my opinion. I mean, everybody's taste is different. What to some people is going to be wonderful, for some people going to be poo-poo. And what for, is poo-poo for me might be great for you. So just uh, keep that in mind and, you know, just take this with a grain of salt. So that's my review. If you guys have Natasha Denona, the real thing, the $129 one is like, ah! it's crazy. I can't imagine. I just can't imagine. My cheapskate soul is like hurting right now. Just thinking about it. So if you guys have the original one, let me know in the comments below. Do you have it? How do you like it? Uh, how do those masks perform? I'm curious about that. And if you have uh, the Alter Ego palettes, if you have both, let me know what you think. Like, I like this so much better. And this one is just like a meh for me. So, just give me your opinion.
spill it sister so that's gonna be it for this video if you guys like this give this thumbs up don't forget this helps us as youtubers because it sends ceo it's a big word search engine optimization i mean it's a message that my video is popular and it's gonna keep pushing it to youtube if you guys can help me out give this a like leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here I'm here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time, and also go live on Sundays at noon Pacific time and 8 a.m. in UK. So if you guys want to have a party, enjoy, and have a chat, we always make fun of each other, we have a blast. And I would usually do challenges and makeup looks that my friends uh, challenge me to. So come join us and become uh, a nice big family. So I'll leave you guys with this and thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.